Okay, so the favorite part is the endorphin rush, right? I get, I get the runner's high again. It's like running. It's what I used to do. I used to come home, used to throw on my shoes and run. And that's what I do now. I just hop on it and ride. I think the Elliptigo is the perfect cross-training tool for running. It uses very similar muscles, but I'm also being able to recruit other muscles, which is really important. I've used the Elliptigo now for about six months. What I can do is I can follow up a hard run with a really hard elliptigo and get the cardio workout without the pounding. And I won't even say low impact, I mean there is no impact. I'm using it to train for the Trans Rockies three-day staged race through the Colorado Rockies. So I'm weaving it in so I'm running one day, riding the elliptigo the next, running the next, which is a secret weapon for the race. So don't tell anybody that I'm using it. I want to get back and run. I mean I'm really a runner and I think that this is gonna ramp my running up another whole level. What I'm gonna do is run four days a week and elliptical at least the other three. It just makes so much sense. I missed doing really intense exercise on my feet outdoors. So for me, it was a weight-bearing exercise, which I missed since I'd given up running, and it was outside. I tell you, I got my heart rate up immediately. I love climbing on the elliptigo. Anybody that knows me knows that I love training on hills, and the elliptigo climbs hills and mountains like a mountain goat because it's got eight gears. You can easily change the gears just like you would on a bike, and it is a fabulous way to build your leg strength and also your cardiovascular stamina. Imagine running up a hill. It's actually smoother than running up a hill. What I want to do is get the right cadence, and it's setting that cadence that you know, I'm learning how to shift now so that that cadence doesn't get interrupted if I'm going uphill or downhill or on a flat or you know, full-out sprint. I recently did the uh, Hell's Gate 100 out in Death Valley. There were some monster climbs, including one uh, about a 4,000-foot pass. That was the one area where I was keeping up with all the uh, elite bikers. The one time I'll pass bicyclists is on a hill. And the downhill, the descents were a lot of fun. I had it up at you know, full speed, if you will. 35 miles an hour seems about as fast as I want to go. I'm sure I could go a lot faster. Coming down is surprisingly stable. I love to cross train. But you know, here, here's even a more natural motion that I could use to complement my running. It really gives me a, an edge to push my limits. It's a hardcore piece of cardiovascular equipment. It allows me to train harder for longer, which helps me build strength and stamina without the risk of injury. On the elliptigo, you're always working, but you're not beating yourself up, so you feel great. Because when I get on it, you just like continuing to go. I think it's going to revolutionize the cross-training world because it's the first piece of outdoor equipment specifically made just for runners. I'm Dean Carnassus. I'm Jenny Hadfield. Hi, my name's Karen Bali. I'm Lauren Walden. I'm Paul Karincic. Hi, I'm Brian Pilcher. Yeah, and I cross-train. Cross